For the tricep pull downs, uh, you can be using any sort of cable pulley system at the gym, or if you're working out at home, you can use a band. Um, if you're at the gym, you want to use a band, totally doable too. Um, if you're at home using a band, uh, just look it over something stable. You can even do this by putting it through the uh, through a door of uh, wherever you're working out in. Just make sure that you got something on the band um, that's going to catch in the door so that you don't rip the band down and hit yourself in the face. But a couple of cues on the tricep pull down. Uh, first, most important cue is going to be pulling your shoulder blades back. You want to keep your elbows directly against your ribs the whole time. Now, when you pull down on the band or the cable, whatever you're using, you want to, it's important to pull down and apart at the bottom. So as I pull down, I'm kind of pulling my hands apart at the bottom. That's going to help get an extra squeeze on the triceps. A few things you want to avoid doing when you're doing these is one, don't do this. Don't do like a half rep where you don't fully extend the elbow. You always want to be fully extending the elbow at the bottom. I see that a lot where people will kind of let their hands come together as they're pulling down and they're not going all the way down. And then when you're doing that, you're not going full range of motion, not as beneficial. So shoulders back, elbows against the ribs, pull straight down and apart, squeeze the tricep at the bottom, keep tension the whole time, no swinging in the arms, shoulder blades back, abs and butt squeeze the whole time, and that's the tricep pull down.